Hi everybody, my name is Tom Solid, I'm the founder of the Paperless Movement. And if you're a member of my community, I welcome you back to a new update here about Node Shelf 2. It is so exciting. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about going paperless. And in the Paperless Movement, we will go paperless together. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and stay with us. All right, let's dive in. Node Shelf 2, it's unbelievable. These guys are just unbelievable. The makers of Node Shelf 2, they are awesome. Why? Because I made the very first review about Node Shelf 2 back in November 2017, I think. And actually this app was, yeah, it was able to handwrite and the, the general features, but that's it. There wasn't much more. You couldn't rotate images and yeah, audio recorder was there. So the review wasn't very good, I must say. However, unbelievable. I never saw uh, an app company pushing out so many updates all the time. The community around NodeShelf 2 is awesome and that's what the company actually stands for. They're listening to the community. You're telling them something is bad, something is not working, something could be improved, such as a favorites toolbar or something. They will do it. And today they just reached another milestone. Ladies and gentlemen, what's new? Surprise, surprise convert handwriting to text. So for a long time, only Notes Plus, Good Notes for Nebo, they had handwriting to text conversion. And recently, Notability version 8 added handwriting recognition as well. So that's one of my last videos where I said it's an awesome app and I just pushed it on the pole position on my website where I compare all these apps. Um, but now, Note Shelf, Two developers didn't sleep. They added the handwriting to text conversion as well. And I know they won't stop there. They have so much in their pipeline. Um, I mean, this is awesome. And uh, they also added transparent covers. So people of you like to have this plain cover, like in GoodNotes, others want to see the first page of their notebook. NoteShelf made it an option. So you can choose what you like. So that's awesome as well. And now you can swipe in from the left to have a um, short code, a uh, shortcut to your notebooks as well to open them. Then you have even a widget now, so you can add your notebooks into the, your widget, uh, widget section of your iPad or your iPhone and with one click you can open this notebook. I think that's, that's so many um, improvements, makes it just a... Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure the Node Shelf 2 users out there who are also using other apps like Notability and so on, they they know what I mean. This feeling when you're using Node Shelf 2, it is it is something like you know, well, they put a lot of thought and a lot of heart and especially a lot of community in there. That's really the key. They put community in there. So let's just dive into a test book here. Let's make a new one. Uh, you also here get a uh, quick create uh, button. So you can predefine uh, whatever paper you like and so on and the random cover and then you just click quick create and it will quickly recreate uh, a notebook. So now we got a notebook here. Let's change this to landscape here problem at all and then let's write something let's write something so you see my handwriting is not very nice yeah and I'm really wondering if it will be able to convert it properly and there you go it even recognizes this handwriting it actually works awesome 
there's only a global text recognition language you can choose from. So you have to go to your preferences and switch it here. So that's no problem, it's very, uh, pretty quickly. So you're in your notebook, you need another language, just go to preferences and change it here. That's good enough. Um, and here you can see what languages are available because in my last video when I talked about the handwriting recognition um, from Notability, many of you added comments uh, saying um, this language is not available in this language. So here you see from now on in my video um, what languages are available. And I'm sure um, they will add more over time, okay? because, yeah, I'm sure they will add it over time. So that's really amazing. And now uh, I also want to mention, because I didn't talk about this in my last videos, the function about new uh, picture editing. So let's add a picture here from me. Um, so let's just add a picture here and there you go, you got the picture and now you can easily rotate it and it even snaps into place on a 90 degree angles. Okay, that's really nice. And if you want to edit it further, well, you can uh, change the size. And if you want to edit it more, then you can crop it uh, like this, apply and that's it and this way this was all I was asking for. Now you can really do awesome things in there. And again, let's, I didn't show you this. Let's just convert this to text. And then you can say copy to clipboard so you can paste it into your email or so, or you convert it directly in here and you see it replaces it and that's really nice. And now there's a tip if you don't know this yet, if you are writing something, just hold down two fingers on your keyboard and you can move around. It's, it's for, it doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter in what text field you are. You are. If you are in uh, email or something, it doesn't matter but you can move around with your two fingers. Okay, so that's something really amazing. So this way we can just go in the front and change this easily to let's and there you go. And I think it's really, it's really nice because if you compare it to Notability, where you get these text fields, you always get the, the white background and then here it's really transparent. And I know many of you have been asking for this and yeah, just stay tuned about this because I'm sure Node-Shelf today will keep pushing. Hey, no, no, no.